Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting for to episodes 10 to 12 of Pokemon. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, who's not here? See, I love the fact that, you know, Akito just came back and being like, you know, hey, I am ready to kick ass, you know. Yeah, I was suspended for a week, but we're going to try again. <laughs> we're not going to kick someone's ass. Only, you know what, if we have to, only off the school grounds when a teacher doesn't find out. Unless, you know... That's a good question. You know what? Let me ask this. Like, if you get in a, if you're a student and you get into a fight and the police find out, do they end up telling the school? I mean, I don't think they would, would possibly, but I mean, especially when you think of like, um, Japan's law and I've never really just studied, studied Japan's law. I think like, I remember, what was it? I was watching, I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers play Persona 5. And um, they were talking about the law system in Japan and how crazy it is there. I don't remember the example they gave and such, but they had we had like a big, big conversation about it. And I was like, wow, didn't even know that. And I learned something new that day. So, you know, if I ever go to Japan, you know, don't want to mess with that. Ten and two. <laughs> so what you can be in love and follow your dreams at the same time <laughs> See, like, Kaya gives me, like, the Misa vibes that I have, but she's not too, like, um, needy like Misa is. And I hate to say that as someone who is a Misa, a Misa fan and loves her to death. Oh. Yeah, come on. Of course, you might have to come up here any other time in the future, so you might as well. Ow, ow, ow. Sorry. <gasps> Look at the bleacher, Chico! Oh, God, that makes me more excited for the final season of Bleach to be animated. Oh, my God. Hopefully soon. Oh my god. Like middle school me would have loved this. Oh. 
That's good. True. Is that supposed to be Shaman King? Because I think, you know, was Shaman King still running at the time of. I think so. Yeah, and it totally gives a lot of L vibes. Yeah. Well, actually, they're going to have to, because if he makes it a certain way, he might cancel their manga. He's just asking to make sure. <laughs> Damn. And that's going to be like almost about like what, 150 pages? Mm. 
can. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you think AG loves manga more than them? Yeah, and he gets inspired by, like, one of the weirdest things. Heck, last week was a freaking crow, and I was like, what the fuck? Okay. Mm. Of course. Because they're related. I have a really good feeling about this. Yeah, so you got this. Oh. Oh. You stayed here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> so we bring in girlfriends there now? <laughs> Well, yeah, and you can't kick her out. Yeah, but they made a promise to each other, so you can't really fuck up that promise between Starcross lovers. They're friends. Yeah.
Well, I mean, at the same time, Miho's just trying to be a, the greatest wife actress that she can be, so of course she's going to be busy as well. <laughs> oh, you dick. <laughs> Well, you don't have to be an ass about it. Hmm. Oh. You're on your own. <laughs> mhm. Mm code, you can't do that. Well, I mean, maybe, but she's not really like an idol, so... But I think, of course, because, ooh, see, now that makes me want to watch that anime about voice acting, and it makes you wonder how similar it could possibly be to regular acting, like Hollywood and such. Because they're going to need, like, a, a portfolio and a picture of themselves, right? Oh. Hmm? Oh. Hmm. But the, can't they just go back and try again? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. How can you... Be so similar to something like, you know, Ichigo and Luffy and, and Naruto, but at the same time be so different, though. It, it's, like, hard, even with thinking about the main characters who are the faces of Jack, I mean, not Jack, Shonen Jump now. Okay, what's up? Oh, my God. Have you slept, sir?
Okay. That's like, um, that's a really short percentage though. That's hard though. I'm in a big ass gamble. Oh, persona? <laughs> yeah? Because you just made it up. <laughs> I mean, uh, my work. Okay. Well, I mean, in a way, it's not what they wanted, but at least it's another way to get their foot in the door, and I think it's a good idea. Even though, like, I was expecting, like, one thing, one other thing besides this idea that they currently have right now, to get another foot in, but... I mean, a percent, a 20 percentage, two people out of 10 liking something. May the odds ever be in your favor. That's all I can freaking say. Because I can't imagine. Well, no, I, I can because. <laughs> Once again, I'm about to compare it to my YouTube career. It, it's like, okay, when I started in 2016 and I, I went from doing Kingdom Hearts videos to sometimes random videos to by the time when I got to my birthday in October or like 17 days before my birthday I I decided to do anime reactions and I think that was like the best thing for it and to see how my channel grew like my very first channel before way before it got ter uh, terminated I was very close to 10k I think on my first channel I actually made it to 10k even with uploading on my second channel and such like that but it, it's <laughs> it's a gamble every day when you're uploading something every single day like me or every other day for someone else. We we are all here hustling <laughs> to essentially make people like try to find a way to connect with us or us connecting with them and <laughs> Other thing for us to connect with them or them to connect with us because sometimes as I've um, told my mother before um, sometimes you only get one shot and people like okay out of any of my videos that I do whether it is a hour no god no 30 minutes to an hour to two hours to maybe I think the longest video I have done is about three hours and the longest stream I've ever done was six hours. Um, 
like I said, no matter how many videos I've done from 2016 to 2021, it is always a gamble every single day. And you never know where, like, one week someone could love you for, like, this, is that, and the third, and the next week someone could hate you for, like, the dumbest thing that you say in a video and such, or something that you say on Twitter and such like that. One person can, like, one thing that you can say or do can obviously change, like, or affect anything that you do on YouTube and such like that. And so I've learned that from um, the six years, <laughs> six, kind of almost seven years being on, on YouTube and such. Because, I, I mean, as I haven't, the only big, big thing I was in as a problem, like, there was one thing for myself and somebody really kind of screwed over my reputation for this thing that happened on Twitch and it wasn't good. So I went off. And I'm the type of person where it's like, if there's a problem between us, I'm going to be like, let's talk about it right now. And it's, and so we, we, me and this little, me and this girl, we talked about it, but we never really reached like the conclusion of it. Then a couple of months later, she came on to my stream and she was like, can we just like forget and forget? And I was like, yeah, sure. I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm going to forgive, but I ain't going to forget what you did because what you did was wrong. And so it, it just, mm, it wasn't the greatest thing. But before that, um, oh God. How do I talk about this situation without um, going too detailed into it? Okay, so this was 2017. I think this was springtime. This video is going to be long. So just in case you want to skip this, you can go ahead and go on to the next part. That's fine. Um, but it was spring 2017. And so I joined this like anime podcast group with this one um youtuber name um oh god um what the heck was his name reaper there we go <laughs> i don't know how that came in my head right now reaper's anime reaction and and i i thought he was okay my mom didn't like him or had like the greatest feeling about him and then like two weeks later because i was busy with so many other things and a lot of us had asked him do you have backups on your backups um, due to some conflicts, I decided to leave. I was like, I don't, I'm not feeling great about this and such. I had weird vibes and, you know, when you get weird vibes on it, you know, you're going to dip before anything gets bad. Long story short, dude got in trouble. It was maybe about a couple of months, um, not even a couple of months, a couple of weeks into spring anime. I think we were about maybe halfway through, um spring anime so it because i think what kobayashi no kobayashi was airing in winter of 2017 um i think Cl clockwork planet was airing in springtime clockwork planet planet uh, 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 i can't speak clockwork planet and love timer were airing in spring um and so i remember like hearing some not so really good things because to the point where like police got involved and ish and now um he is currently in jail. That's all I'm going to say about that. If you have not read it, just I would say go on Google. There's a lot of things on Google. I would type in Reaper's anime reaction and then some things like that. You probably can find some stuff, but not everything. But there was a point where like he had a trial and everything. Um, I was not summoned, thank God, um, to the point where like because like I said, two, three weeks that I was in the group, like I said, I dipped. Um, so when he confessed of doing what the crime was to the other people who were in it, um, I found out, like, the day when somebody, when one of these anime, uh, news, um, things had dirt on a YouTuber and such, and I was like, oh, snap, like, what the heck is going on and shit like that, but that's what escalated, so it's almost like at the same time, you, you kind of want to watch, like, what you do on YouTube, like, think about, like, any of the other, like, um, big big youtubers people who are in like the beauty industry or anything else and it's like that for on certain sides of youtube because you never really know truly what the things that you say or do are going to have consequences and it's like that but i i don't think this is really going to affect um shiro and akito i think they're really going to go really smoothly with this it's just about remaining positive i think this will be a really good step for them even though their first opportunity closed they still have many other doors that will possibly say yes to them even though like right now this first one well technically i would say second one is a complete and total no 
and you you hate when you get a rejection and saying no and it's like the worst thing in the world and such whether you are doing a job interview or anything and they say hey no it's you're not good <laughs> you're not <laughs> it you're not cut <laughs> for it and it's like that and it sucks but the biggest thing is you always need to pick yourself up and always continue on and be positive even in with the with the shit with that we're doing within the world even though it has kind of gotten normal in the world now, but at the same time, um, you know, been hearing some other things about another flu possibly coming, and I'm like, bro, I don't want to deal with this crap again. But, <laughs> but yeah, I just hope that, you know, this next step in their, you know, journey into becoming, you know, these great mangas, mangakas really works in their favor. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode, I'm about to say episode 10, episode 11. Okay, episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. Are we showing this AG part again? Where he. Okay, no, never mind. Oh my god, 2008. Oh my god. I was still in 8th grade. I was still living. Yeah, I was still living in Nebraska at that time. God, are you going to follow the... Uh -huh. Sir? AG? Okay, we, we want to talk about this. We just need a moment. One moment. We're light. Not light. Wrong character. Wrong person. Wrong person. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. L. Ryuzaki. And AG are in a room together because, you know, those two would interact a lot. We all know that so bad. That's why I feel like Akito and, like, would get along so well. I mean, because, yes, they are both smart, but, you know, of course, one is not a murderer. One is. And it's worse that I have crushes on both of them. I just, I still remember how... <laughs> Even, I remember my telling my mom when I got my mom to watch Death Note for the first time. I was like, yeah, I got a big crush on Light. And then when we finished the series, my mom looked at me like I was nuts. <laughs> my mom was like, Deja, he's a killer. And I was like, but he's smart. <laughs> talking to some of my friends all about it he's a manipulator and he's got a way with words he's played by Mamoru aka Riku from Kingdom Hearts so that's a weakness for me <laughs> I'm so stupid <laughs> Is he seriously going to be at home? I mean, he was walking. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't think he's home. Why is the music? Oh. My God. Exactly. And turn the music down. You have to be respectful of others. Exactly. You're not in the countryside anymore. You're in a city. <laughs> Also, the fact is that AG is, like, one step ahead of, like, <laughs> everyone. Oh, my God. Oh, he's like me, and especially when you get really determined and getting shit done. 
That is so me. Like, I'm like, Psh, do it now. So Angie! Oh, I asked me. Oh my god. Hmm. It kind of gives me like a persona character vibe. Are really a persona male protagonist vibe. Yeah, but now. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, oh my god. <laughs> No, he doesn't look like a Persona protagonist. He looks like a Simigami Tensei protagonist. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Knowing you, you probably would. This is what happens. We didn't want people to draw attention to them. I mean, it's good though. <laughs> So you felt it good. You sure though?
Mira. Mm. Yeah, who knows how long that'll be. Yeah, have fun. It's the one time you get to have like a break, kind of. Ah. Because you know we girls, we're supposed to have like the cutest outfit so you can say something about us. <laughs> I mean, you know, she could have, and this is just me being my girly girl side and stuff. She could have wear like really good stockings with those shorts and everything just in case she doesn't get cold. Because I mean, shorts with stockings, mwah. Looks good though. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. You look so cute. <laughs> also, that would be a definitely an outfit Misa Misa would wear, knowing her. <laughs> oh. See, your girl just wants to go on a Christmas date. That's all. See, Monogatari made me want to go to that one place in Japan with all the lights and everything. This series just makes me want to go on a Christmas date. That's it. Yeah. It's real love. Yeah. She doesn't want to be a distraction and stuff. And then the same thing for him. <laughs> Yes, really, truly. <laughs> well, uh, that's it. Oh, damn. <gasps> oh, imagine getting your ass kicked during Christmas. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. 
Yes, you're fine. I'm going to find merch of this show. Mm -hmm. I know it's old, but I don't know. I just, I'm just i that type of girl who likes to commemorate like, certain series that she really, really enjoys. How I did it with some of my Patreon shows in the past before. So, good. Yeah, you got this. Let's hope you two get in. Mm. I know, right? <sighs> God, he's so cute. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Plays. Nah, two weeks is a long time now. Kaya, of course.
Hey, the best way. Baka. I know. Come on. Please oh. let's go. Possibly so. <laughs> the baby's going into next, though. Oh my god, like. Oh my god, like, oh god. Ha! <laughs> I want to cry tears right now, but I can't. Also, um, the date in Christ, Christmas date, that was cute. I'm a, see, for me, as someone who just, like, <laughs> from the years that I've watched anime, oh my god, you know, date episodes, like, are, because I'm a girl, and it's date episodes are always sometimes my favorite episodes. Sometimes. It depends on, like, how good it is. <laughs> it's like, whether it's between, um... Same sex, opposite sex, whatever, best friends going on a date, and I just froze for like a second. Um, but yeah, it was cute just seeing those two just be together for like a little while. Just, you know, still kind of wish that Mashiro and Miho were able to go together, but still, they're going to stick with the path and they're going to stay with it. We're like, we're, look, we're not going to meet each other and date slash get married. <laughs> exactly, until they achieve their dreams. I mean, and that's a really good question. I mean, should 
Like, if you really, really, truly love... I just kind of froze one more time. Hold up. We don't, okay, we're good. Okay. If you really, truly love Miho as much as you do Mashiro, and I know you two have made a pact to be like, okay, we're not going to date do anything until we achieve our dreams because and i love that that really tells you how committed that they are to each other and how like almost where you can if you meet someone like quote unquote you're the love of your life like today tomorrow whenever and you tell that person like i want i want to achieve my dreams first you can be in any relationship that you want to be but promise me like you know when we both achieve our hopes, our dreams, and everything, and we're both very, very successful, um, that we get the, you know, that chance today. Like, okay, <laughs> I can't even believe I'm about to say this. Like, okay, let, imagine this. Like, imagine, let's say, light one. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm saying that, but like, let, let's just say in a world of like, in Death Note, light one, and he promised either, I think it was, um, Either Misa or Kiyomi Takara, because I feel like in the end he would still want to be with Kiyomi, even though, like, <laughs> as someone who loves the crap out of Misa, um, of course, he was just looking at both Kiyomi and Misa. It's just like, okay, y'all are women. I don't really care about y'all. I'm just going to do use my charm of being a male trying to get you to do whatever the fuck I need you to do so like say, hey, you know, if you love me truly, like, you'll kill this person. But, like, if he won... And let's say he, like I said, chose Kiyomi and said, like, okay, let's say Kiyomi is, like, very, very high and established because before she died, she was very high and established. She was on television and shit like that. And she was uh, essentially Kiddo's spokesperson and it's like that. They would have kind of gotten married and shit like, and stuff because that was the only woman that he really, truly loved because with Misa, um... <laughs> Damn, this makes me <laughs> want to rewatch Death Note again. Um, with Misa, he he's not. It, it's a one-sided relationship, love type, where I think a lot of us, male or female, we've all been in a situation where it's like we feel like that one person is like all in with it and everything. But by the time, you know, that relationship is done, you, you see that it was completely one-sided and you possibly even tell that significant other like, oh, this is bullshit, this is completely one-sided, like, you did nothing in this relationship and stuff like that. I think if me, if we, <laughs> if we would have explored a little bit more and such, <laughs> maybe it would have happened. Misa would have possibly found, like, a little bit more of her voice and possibly told off light, but I think if she did, that probably would have gotten her killed, so let's kind of thank God she ain't do that, but, um... Going back into, you know, Machiro and Nikito, know, I think this is going to be really good for them. I mean, I, you know what I would kind of love to see? Okay. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and talk about Death Note with this one more time. So, what I would like to see in the future. So, let's say, one, like, this it does really, really well for them. It, you know, gets to be eventually, like, you know, big, really, really big. And let's say one of their stories or one of, like, anything that create they create in like however long many years they're going to do this possibly gets the chance to get a one shot OVA. Or like I said, a one shot gets into an OVA and it's like that. <sighs> like the Death Note sequel one shot. <laughs> And how last year, almost, I think around this time between winter and spring and maybe almost early summer, we were all freaking out about Death Note. And even though it's been a year since that's come out, your girl, so bad, <laughs> wants to see this one shot as an OVA or possibly get, you know, a full series manga series and it's like that and such i i understand like maybe possibly as of now possibly um the illustrator and the um arthur i think the arthur the manga of mangaka for the series is possibly busy because i still think they're doing um i think it's called platinum's end that's coming out this year because that's something that i'm really truly excited about but your girl just wants to know what the what happened next but no <laughs> <laughs> seriously because I, I i remember reading that like so freaking quickly and 
remember having a conversation with my mom about it because my mom doesn't read manga. She'll watch anime, but she'll read it. She won't read it. And I told her, I was like, what happened in this, this, that, and the third. And I was like, this was so good that I would love to see more. But at the same time, because I don't remember the kid's name in the one shot, um, him and Light are vastly different. You can tell by not only intelligence, but how he used the death note and everything. See. <laughs> Mom, turn your stuff down, please. But, <laughs> yeah, that's all I really have to say. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 12. Okay, episode 12 and 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -hmm. No, 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 I don't think so. Do you feel nervous, though? I mean, no offense, you should be, just in case, because you never know what the hell is going to happen. <sighs> and you can't have beer. Imagine if you, you know, like, some, you know, freaking big time, you know, company, whatever, decides to take your work and publish it. Like, yeah. What is the first thing you're going to do? Like, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say, like, Super Bowl. I'm going to go to Disneyland. I'm like, nah, not me. Like, if I, if I got the chance to, you know, do something or achieve a goal that I have and such, girl would be ecstatic. I'd be like, Psh, we ain't going no freaking Disneyland. I'd probably end up going somewhere that I really possibly want to go for a long time, which everybody knows is Japan because, of course, your girl wants to go. But my biggest goal right now is to... Mm, Learn the language Japanese straight up. That's the biggest goal in my in my thing right now. That because your girl wants to be a Japanese interpreter and such, and yeah, your girl just really loves this language a lot. Ever since she was a freaking kid, your girl has dreams of going to college in Tokyo. Still, even now. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Yes, eat that meat for me, please, boys. Because, you know, as a vegetarian, can't have meat. <laughs> and it's been a good six, seven months now for me. <laughs> yeah, remember, he said his treat. I wish I could have sushi. Why can't why can't sushi be vegetarian? What, don't they have vegetarian sushi? I should look that up.
So a long time though. Because mm? <clears throat> of love. <laughs> I know. Yeah, because you're not. Because once you guys graduate, you're officially high school students. It's best Mm. Oh, the Tokyo. Mm. 
You have to. They need to at least see each other at least once before she moves. Why are her outfits so good and I freaking want them? Oh my god. Why is she so fashionable? Like, I can't. Hmm. No, I am the same. Really, I don't. <laughs> For my shit all. Because she was scared to. Machido, oh my god. Take like at least one break and say goodbye to her. Exactly. So you need to talk to her. You better go see her, damn it. I swear to God. I I understand the, the pack, the promise, but come on. But you really want to end this like this. You want to end your middle school career not talking to her. At least one more time, because who knows how long it's going to be before you see each other. Exactly. So you need to go now and at least say goodbye to her. Honestly, we all are. We eat too much. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank God those two made up. Yes. Yeah. Mm hmm. Huh? Okay, are you sure though? You're sure you're not gonna go see me? Huh? I mean, you know, we're, we're almost done with this episode. Yeah. Yeah, so you think you would, you know, finish early to at least go see her one last time. <sighs> but it's complicated. You guys have a right to worry about him. <laughs> oh, of course she would be speaking. Come on now. I wonder if we'll ever see her again. Oh. <sighs> it's 
complicated. What's up? Maybe we can go see. You know, because we're savoring the moment. Hurry up and get the fuck over! I know, like, Ooh, 2009? Damn, I was still in 8th grade. <laughs> yeah, I was still in 8th grade. This is still in middle school. <laughs> but, oh. Uh. I'm dead. She's in jail. She's in jail. That was just sweet. Mm -hmm. That was too fucking sweet. Oh my god. I feel myself tearing up. Oh my god. Stop it. <laughs> that was so cute. Like the fact that she said she was always waiting for him. Like, oh, and I'm guessing officially this is the last time that we're going to see Miho for now. And something possibly tells me we won't maybe see her again until at least maybe towards the end of season one going on into the second like season two of the show maybe exactly i mean cause it, it really does seem like that's what they're going to do and it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if miho is like kind of written off on the series for as of now until it's like okay hey it's like three years later and such and she's doing, you know, she's a little bit better and maybe she's possibly in, you know, a lot of um, TV, sh um, TV shows, anime, anime, <laughs> anime.
maybe even possibly doing interviews because of course just like with celebrities here in america and maybe even other places of course when they are promoting um movies and tv shows and stuff they get to go on talk shows and everything and do like really fun and interesting things and stuff like that but I, I I hope we get to see it because your girl still wants at least one or two episodes where Miho gets to be, you know, the point of focus or the point of view for an episode. But I'm guessing we're not possibly going to get that, even though your girl wants it hella freaking bad. But <laughs> something just tells me we're probably not going to get it because I think even if I ask the question now, I feel like nobody is going to answer that question for me or they're just going to possibly say, hey, spoilers, like we can't tell you anything because of this is that and the third and reasons. And of course, because, um, <laughs> People don't want to spoil things for me, of course, because I don't like to be spoiled on certain things. <laughs> Even though your girl has been spoiled. No, for for this series, thank God I have not been spoiled on anything. And no one has sent me anything. But if we're talking about something like Attack on Titan, um, I have not been spoiled on like how the series ended. But I got spoiled like a while, like very, very long time ago about the connection of, you know, Levi and Mikasa and shit like that and everything. Um... So I remember one time, like, I was reacting to it, and people were like, oh, yeah, why didn't you do this? And I was like, oh, because I already I've been knew that. Someone told me out of the blue one day, and I was like, oh, I ain't surprised about that. But, I, I mean, I'm okay with her being written out if it is, because then we get to see not only um, Mashiro, Akito, and Kaya, you know, their character development and such, we possibly get to see a little bit more with AG because something kind of tells me that AG and <laughs> you know much you know they're all gonna go to the same high school because <laughs> we have not seen those school uniforms yet so we're probably going to you know see them mm, duke it out coexist at one fucking high school together and who knows how the fuck that's gonna go but of course we gotta wait and see um, I'm ready to see, like, a little bit more dates with Kaya, because Kaya, like, Kaya is now coming into best girl territory. She, she's not number one, because, <laughs> me <Mijo. laughs> she, she's up there. She, like, number two, and such. I love her so much. Really want to know who her seiyuu is and see what other things she has been in besides this that I probably know of, and such. But, yeah, th these three episodes were really sweet, and I'm still happy that my boys are doing so fucking good. They can only go up from here, so let's just hope and pray that they can, you know, beat the shit out of AG because, you know, <sighs> I need them to go. <laughs> I know that's so mean to say, but I need them to go. If, you know, and then, <laughs> if Rem could kill L slash Rizaki and let Elite win. <laughs> My boys fucking got this. Anything can happen. So come on. Let, give me another one for my babies. I need this. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 10 to 12 of Bakuman. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 13 to 15. Bye, guys.